Okay everybody, welcome back to Angler Carl and welcome back to what is a bit of a cold day today. Normally I don't review quick change beads and stuff like that because most of them are the same and most of them are just not that interesting. I've reviewed the odd one on the channel before but this one is very interesting and these are the Corum Anti-Tangle Quick Change Beads. And I'm just going to get this bit of rubbish off my line. I'm going to show you people this quick, this quick change bead. Um, I'll just get the feeder out of the way for now. But if you can see, it's a very unique design. It sort of has like this little, you know, sh cut off bit here. And then all you do to change your hook lens is, if I can do this, my hands are absolutely freezing, by the way. They're really, really cold. So... Um, so all you do to change up lens, this little thin bit pops out from underneath like so. And all I've done is tied this on with a half blood knot. So this slides on your line at first, but I'll show you people from this. It's kind of hard because it is small. Make sure you, you put it on the line that way. And then this just pushes inside. And then you've got sort of like a little notch there to put your hook length on. So you can quickly change hook lens, which is always a bonus now for me the big ooha behind this i'm just gonna bring the feeder down is when i put it against my feeder it sort of creates like a kick it basically kicks the hook length off out at an angle so essentially it acts as kind of like a twizzled boom so it sort of acts as a boom and moves the hook length off at an angle which when you cast it shouldn't give you tangles now, I've been using these for quite a bit now, just so I could do a, you know, I could give a good review for you people. And first of all, I'm going to do the obligatory test where I go like that. So if I'm there shaking it round and going crazy, as you people can see, I'm absolutely going mad. It's still there, you know, it's not tangled. I'm going to put two maggots on the end of the hook as well, because obviously I want to do this with bait on. Don't get me wrong. There has been the odd time where I have got, um, I've got slightly, slightly tangled, you know, over the top of my feeder, but it's not been like a really bad tangle. And that's when I've sort of reeled it in quite vigorous. We'll go that main light way. So this is it with bait on. As you can see, that's going everywhere. So I'm going to give this a cast. So if I give this a good cast, like that, yeah and then put my alarm on and reeling really quickly you know i'm really giving this a vigorous test that up length is actually still not tangled so you people saw how quick i'm just going to move it round to this side so as you can see we're still not tangled now i like doing this test because i find if it's going to get tangled it will get tangled by this so what we'll do again we'll cast it out and then we'll there we go and then again i'm going to reel in really vigorously like that is really vigorous and as you can see it still hasn't tangled so it's doing a great job by creating that boom effect and essentially not giving you tangles i'm going to do one more i want to do a nice little um cast there we go that's better and then, like I said, I'm going to lift the rod up and really go for it. So it like skips all over the surface. I mean, this is really just crazy testing. And as you can see, you might just be able to see the line. And there you go. And the good thing is with these Corum quick change bees, I'm going to stop doing that now because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to ruin the swim, everybody. Let me, let me just move this down. So the good thing is with these is the fact that you actually they do fit on every feeder so essentially what i'm trying to say is you don't just need corum feeders for these to work you know i've got this on a preston maggot feeder you know you could use them on whatever feeder you want and they'll just sit absolutely fine they'll just sit literally against the bottom of the feeder they're fine they don't look out of place they don't look stupid and they work really really well now i will be telling you people about the price of these and how many you get 
So for eight of these beads, it's going to cost you two pounds and ninety nine pence, which I think is very reasonable. I mean, I've had this one on now for a long time and stuff. And like I said, with you getting a, you know, it's plenty. Say if you do lose some for whatever reason, you've always got the rest, you know, to fall back on. And I'm just going to read a quick paragraph that's on the back of this. It says this anti tangle version of our iconic quick change beads enables you to change your hook length instantly and also creates a boom when fishing a running feeder. Simple to use and totally reliable. They are perfect for still water and river fishing with feeder and bomb. Now in our unique camo finish as well. That's another thing um, I did want to say to you people. These are a nice camo again there you go so they are they do blend in well on the lake bed and to be honest with you i, I do like the camo finish i just think that with that sort of camo finish it will work well and like it said before about it creating the boom it, it does create you know that effect and it does keep the hook length away from the feeder and sometimes with sort of feeder fishing or bomb fishing you're always going to get tangles every now and again like i say i've ha had the odd little tangle with this but all it's been is where the hook length is over the top of the feeder it's you know it's not as bad as like some tangles i've had in the past when bomb fishing or feeder fishing where it's just that bad you've got to cut the hook length these do a great job and like i said i did some vigorous testing then we're reeling it in quite harshly and uh, this held up really really well so i am impressed with these so would i recommend them absolutely yes i do like uh core and products these little beads have worked a treat and like i said definitely give them a go they're not expensive you get plenty in a pack and they do a great job of helping you avoid more tangles when you're fishing which let's be honest is very important because the worst thing in the world is when you get tangled and these will do a good job to try and prevent you from falling in that trap so definitely go check them out i really do think they're a good item you know like i said nothing's perfect you still can get the odd little tangle bear that in mind but they do a damn good job and for the most part they work absolutely perfect so if you did enjoy this review make sure you leave a massive like on it let me know in the comments below if you've used these or what do you do to avoid tangles with your feeder fishing or bomb fishing and subscribe to the channel for new videos every single week i have got some amazing videos coming up on the channel we're going to be doing some perch fishing on um, Burcliff and also we're going to be doing some canal fishing as well so that should be good so make sure you stay tuned and share this video around with anyone that you know get tangled a lot because they might need one of these thank you very much for watching and if you're fishing have a good one